All right, welcome back to the show. My name is Paul. This is my wife, Emily. Um, our business is Mr. Post Frame, and we build custom post frame homes and buildings. Uh, we are believers in doing stuff on your own, and we've had a couple septic videos, and we've gotten tons of questions, right, on how much does this cost. So today, we're going to break down um, one of these septic videos. It's going to be the one... Um, on the mobile home, and we're going to break it all down uh, in cost. And each section we're going to go over so that you can kind of figure out how much your septic system would cost you um, just in materials. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and head down to the description if you want a link to the different septic videos that we have on our channel. And uh, you can also head to our website for a little bit more information about it. And for those of you who are new to this channel or you just happened across this video, um, check our YouTube channel out, check our Instagram out. Um, also, we have uh, home design. Um, where would people reach out for getting plans made through us? We do a lot of custom Barnuminium home and building designs. You can email us design at mrpostframe.com if you want to chat with us about the process. Uh, it's a really uh, neat thing. We can set up a complimentary consultation with you and go over what you're looking for and uh, from there you can take it to any builder across the country and build your home that way. And also for you uh, people that uh, are DIYers, this home we're sitting in is our personal home that we built by ourselves. We have a full series on it and we have started a Patreon to help everybody um, figure out the different steps in self-building, what goes into it. We allow people to ask questions. Just talk about that just for a second. Em. Yeah, so our Patreon account is designed for the person that's trying to get even more detailed information about different parts of the building process. Uh, Paul and I, we share a lot of cost comparison things uh, as we've learned them over the years. We share a lot of the details about uh, terminology and the different types of materials that you could be using in your home. So it's geared towards that person that's trying to figure out what is going to be best practice, what's going to be the best way for it to fit in your budget. Uh, and then we're, we'll get into a lot more self-contracting information as well. Uh, and there's consulting available if you just need a lot of one-on-one -on -one help. So you can also find all of that information in the description of this video. So let's go ahead and jump into the cost breakdown of a septic system. So we're just going to start out from the house. In this case, um, we have two septic videos on our channel. One is for this home here, which is a extremely large system. And the second one is the one we are going to break down today, which is uh, a mobile home install. And it really doesn't matter whether it's a mobile home or... Uh, conventional home. This is a gravity fed system we're going to talk about. So we'll just start at the beginning. The first thing that you're going to have to pay to have done is a perk test. And keep in mind all of these prices are based on here in the Midwest. We're in South Central Iowa. Um, so step one is a perk test. That's a person that comes out, cores holes in your um, lateral or drainage site to see if it's even capable of handling a conventional system. Here that costs $400 to $450 for them to do that. And that will get you to the point um, where you'll know how many feet of laterals you need, which is where the liquids go, the size of your septic tank, all of the requirements for your septic system. So that's step one, 400 bucks right off the bat for somebody to come out, drill some holes and tell you what kind of system you can have, whether it can be conventional or it has to be like a sand filter, peat moss system, all that. So this system or this site uh, perked for a conventional system. So it required a 1250 gallon uh, septic tank, a two chamber septic tank. This is a three bedroom house. Um, that septic tank cost $1,500. And in that $1,500, that is delivered and put in the hole. Now, because gas prices are $556 uh, a gallon, I talked to 
the precast company where I get those tanks from, and they're doing a fuel surcharge right now at a dollar a mile. So you just have to keep that in mind. Delivery might be additional um, where you're located. So um, that's the first uh, piece of the puzzle that you're gonna need is the septic tank. So from the house to the septic tank, you're gonna need to run four inch uh, solid core pipe. That is what is required here. That is uh, pretty expensive right now. Um, in this install, we used 30 foot from the house to the tank at $53 uh, per 10 feet is what that costs right now. So it costs about $150 from the house to the tank in solid core pipe. Then from the tank to your distribution box, uh, you're gonna need I always run solid core pipe as well. We use 20 feet of that, so that's 100, roughly $100 from the tank to the distribution box. The distribution box is basically your second piece to this puzzle. And what that is, is uh, I'm not gonna go into exactly how it works because you can check out the videos and I break down every part, what its purpose is, how it works. Um, but the distribution box is where the liquids come from your tank and then it distributes it evenly to your lines. Um, a distribution box in this install was a seven hole distribution box and it was $61. Um, from the distribu distribution box to all your field lines, you can run SDR 35, which is the required pipe here where we are that you have to run. You can run solid core pipe or schedule 40 but the SDR is a little easier to work with and it's cheaper. SDR pipe right now is $28 per 10 foot stick. So in this whole install, we use 13 10 foot sticks, which equated to $364 in today's prices. And then uh, from there, each line is 100 feet. We required to have 400 linear feet in this install and we used the low pro infiltrator septic chambers and those are $33 per four foot section. So they're four foot long, three foot wide. So you need 25 per hundred feet. Um, we had 400 feet. So that was $3,300 is what those cost. Um, we had eight end caps, which are $19 a piece. So that was $152. So the total for just the material in this install was $5,642. So a lot of money. Um, we're not gonna really talk a lot about what it costs because I'm directing this towards the DIY person, but you can basically double, safely double the price if you're gonna have somebody come in and install. It, it is quite a bit of work, but mm -hmm. the overall, um, it's just a lot of physical labor, but it's not that difficult um, if you take your time and you have, if you think you have the time to do it. Before we get into like kind of the labor and equipment, um, there's two things to consider here with your septic tank and your distribution box. And this is gonna kind of depend on the lay of your land is risers. So risers on a septic tank, there's two, um, holes on the top that are going to have caps and depending on how deep you have that tank you might have to add an additional riser now where i buy these um, the lady i buy them from um, in indianola they provide whatever riser you need with the price of the tank so if i need a 12 inch riser she just supplies those with the price now some places might charge you extra um, the distribution box, same case. You might have to rise, have a riser 12 inches, 24 inches, depending on how deep that is in the ground. And that just kind of depend on, you know, the grade of your land. Um, you have to have those so you can have access for maintenance, for uh, inspection, stuff like that. If we're talking about equipment, uh, the equipment is why a lot of this installation costs a lot. Now you can rent this, I like using a backhoe uh, when we build uh, the septic systems because you have your outriggers where you can level your bucket when you dig your trenches. But you're looking here at $250 a day rental for a machine. Outside of that machine, you're gonna need 
some kind of laser level. You can rent those if you have one. Um, if that's a big cost. I mean, my laser level, I have $1,800 in that. But you could rent both of those pieces of equipment. And this system is probably going to take you, if you've never done one before, it's probably going to take you a few days, uh, if, not a, if not a week. But you could easily do this in a couple days if you have experience on a machine and have done this type of work before. Outside of your equipment rental, which you know here, like I said, I'm estimating $250 a day for the machine and then a laser level, which is probably gonna be, you probably could rent that for a week for a few hundred bucks. Um, but it's still gonna be cheaper if you can do this efficiently. Outside of that, you need uh, a couple of buddies to run a rake and a shovel, <laughs> which is always nice. But I did our entire system by myself. Yeah, you did You did ours by, by ourselves, and then you had, I think, your dad. So you didn't have experienced people helping you. You just needed somebody to be checking the laser. Well, nobody helped me on this one. Right, yeah. And then for the one that you're referring to, though, yeah. you, had, you had inexperienced people helping, and it was mainly just to save you trips in and out of the backhoe. Some other costs that you might have in this uh, install. We did, we did not do the rock and perforated tile. We used the Infiltrator Low Pro Chambers, which replaces the original uh, rock and uh, perforated tile installs, which are still used today. In some areas, they require it. They won't let use the infiltrators. Um, you might need, you're probably going to need a little rock to put under. Um, if you watch the video, you'll see where the pipe hooks up to the chambers. If there's any gap there, I will put rock under there just to support it, make sure you're good there. I take um, dry, a few bags of dry concrete and pour it around my distribution box just to stabilize it. Um, this install required a curtain drain on the top side of the septic field. And what a curtain drain does is it protects your septic field from groundwater. And you know, your perk test will tell you where you need that, all that kind of good stuff. But I just had to have it on the top side and then go down the end and pop it out of the ground. The curtain drain will require you to have some kind of machine to dig the trench. It's a 12 inch wide trench is what I did. And then you have to put a perforated tile at the bottom and then put washed rock over the top so that any groundwater coming through hits that rock, goes down to the tile, and takes it out uh, to daylight. And uh, my math on that, we used 200 feet of drain tile, which was $150 for a 250 foot roll. Wash rock here was around $450 uh, per load. We used two loads for that 100 feet, so you're looking at $900 per 100 feet of washed rock. And this was a five foot deep trench. And then obviously the machine. Um, you can do this in a day, uh, but you know, I think overall we had, let's see, 1,050. We had $1,150 into that curtain drain. So another big question we got along with pricing is where do you get this stuff? So you're gonna wanna search like a precast company. That's who's gonna carry the septic tanks uh, most of these places, if they are making septic tanks, they're going to have the chambers, they're going to have the distribution box, they're going to have the piping. A lot of these places are one-stop shop, and if you search, you're going to find somebody in your area or within an hour pretty easily um, that has all these supplies. But it's um, like I use Indianola Precast because they're, uh, they're the closest place to us. But every kind of little town that I build in, I always see a precast company there that builds chambers, they build storm shelters, they do all kinds of stuff like that. Um, but now that we've talked about the price of this system, I can break this down into kind of a per foot um, cost. So you can kind of figure out, you can go out, lay out your system, and you can kind of get a general idea of what it's going to cost you. So in this case, it was a 1,250-gallon septic tank that was 1500 bucks. That's going to be pretty standard. The distribution box is going to be standard, $61. Very rarely you're going to need one that's more than uh, a seven hole. 
the laterals, which we use the infiltrator low pros, they were $33 per four feet. So it's pretty standard that you can't have a lateral that's over 100 feet, so it's going to cost you what's 33 times 25? 825. So a hundred foot run using the infiltrator is going to cost you 825. So if you get your perk test back, it says you, you need five lines, you can times the 825 times five, and that's going to give you uh, your number on what that's going to cost you. Right now, the SDR 35 pipe is $28 per 10 foot stick. So that's pretty easy math. And then the solid core PVC is a whopping $53 right now <laughs> for 10 feet, which is crazy. So hopefully, you guys, this is helpful to you to kind of get a general cost of what your septic system will cost you. Um, but the first step is to get that perk test, and then they are going to give you a report that says, hey, you need a 1,500-gallon tank. You need 400 linear feet of leach line. You need a curtain drain on two sides. And then from there, you can use all these numbers uh, per foot to kind of get a general idea of what it's going to cost you. You can contact your local precast company. They can give you your price on your tank, your distribution box, what delivery is going to be, and then you can decide whether you want to tackle this yourself or not. But you can safely assume just take your material cost and times it by two. And that's going to get you pretty close to what it would cost for somebody to come in and do it. So if you guys are interested in uh, knowing how a conventional septic system works, you can check out the two videos that we have. I break it down, um, I show you guys how to do it, and uh, then you can decide whether you want to try to tackle it on yourself or not. Mm -hmm. One of the other comments that we get on these videos is how big the systems are, like the lines and everything like that, and that isn't a decision that we had any control over. The, the county that we live in, after the perk test, they designed the system and they said, this is what you have to have. So you have to keep that in mind that you don't get to do, just make that decision normally of what, how big or how small you want your system to be. Uh, you have to go with whatever guidelines uh, are put forth by where you live. Because, and you know, probably part of it is that there's enough people over the years that have decided to just run a pipe out of their house and let... I hear a lot of stories from people of that, you know, their neighbor just lets it basically drain into the back of their property and has no system. So there's a reason why they, that these yeah. systems are put together the way that they are so that you don't have a bunch of disgusting stuff just sitting in the back of your acreage. There are a lot of other options for septic systems. Um, that's going to be kind of governed by your county that you live in. Um, I'm, I'm trying to work out uh, and do a video on a septic install with a peat moss system which if i could do it all over again i would i would use this type of system because it's a lot less work it's um i'm not going to go into detail but hopefully i can get that done and we can do a video on that because um, i think that's a great way uh, to um, do a septic system if you have enough fall so with that being said, that's going to be a wrap on this cost video. If you guys like these types of videos where we break down the costs, let us know. Um, we will do more of these. I'm um, thinking about breaking down the cost of the Remington build. I'm going to break down the cost of the 60 by 80 that we're just wrapping up. Um, we're going to do a final cost of our home Yes. if you guys have been following along. But as always, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and we will catch you on the next video. The mystery hand.